I feel so weird looking at myself in this wig. It's a little eerie and creepy because I like, I'm just not used to seeing myself like this anymore. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome or welcome back to Locks Lux Lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. So if you enjoy lock content, lifestyle content, and self-help and self-development content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button because I do a little bit of all of that. But as you guys can see from the title, today I'm here with like a fun video and I am going to be trying some of my old wigs over my locks. If you want to see how this goes, then just keep watching. As the sun shines on all of my glory, my flaws don't look so bad at all. What was I so afraid of? So I am a little over two years into my lock journey, you guys, and I recently did this little braided a uh, straight back style with a with a bun in the back and it reminded me of how I used to braid my locks down like in the first year in my starter lock phase and when I would put like my wigs and stuff over them and I was like ooh I should try on a wig so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now you guys I'm gonna be trying on some of my old wigs over this braid down before we get any further into this video I understand that this is not for everybody. This video is mainly for a certain demographic. If you don't fit in that demographic, that is okay. But please spare me with any like, what's the point of getting locks if you're gonna put a wig over them? Wigs are not meant for locks. Locks are not meant for wigs. If you are new to my channel, or if you haven't been here for a while, I before I was locked, I was a wig wearer. Early on in my lock journey, I also incorporated wigs, especially for like the first like eight months of my journey. I haven't worn a wig over my locks in over a year but being that I am a former wig wearer I would never get on my platform and act like I'm better than anybody else who still wears wigs because I have locks please do not use this video for that Just because I have locks I am not anti weave I am not anti wigs however with all that being said if you are interested in wearing wigs over your locks there are obviously things to be mindful of you want to always make sure to prioritize the health of your locks so when i was wearing wigs over my locks i didn't wear like thick glues on my hairline and things like that i didn't sew them down i wasn't sleeping in them i didn't wear them every day um, I still try to prioritize the health of my natural locks. Try to uh, minimize the use of combs in the wigs. I really used to just use like wig grips. So I will say that if you do choose to wear wigs during your lock journey, you still want to prioritize the health of your locks. But again, this is just a fun video. So let's not make it too deep. So let's get in. So for the most part, I did give like majority of my wigs away just because the more I got into my lock journey, um, I just wasn't wearing them. They were taking up space, but I did keep about two because I just felt like I needed to keep something for a rainy day. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try those ones on. Um, so like I said, I did braid my hair back um, for this style. They're loose back here. So what I'm gonna do first is um, just pin them down so that I can try to get the flattest base possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we gonna make it do what it do. Um, prior to starting this video, I did go ahead and like oil my scalp and everything. But now I'm just gonna put a stocking cap over it to protect my locks. It's crazy how thick your hair gets because I remember sliding these things on so easily. Um, but yeah, I'm just making sure to tuck all of my hair in. So the first wig I'm going to try on is a headband wig. And if y'all been around, like I said, since the beginning, y'all know I used to love me a good headband wig early on because they were just so easy, super convenient. 
and I didn't have to do a lot of manipulation to my locks. So this is the wig. Um, I did a video on this wig. I want to say that this wig is from Supernova Hair. I don't know, y'all. It's been a while. But I want to say it's from Supernova Hair. It's like a kinky curly. I did go ahead and wash this wig, y'all, because it was looking crazy. But I've had this wig for about two years now. As you guys can see, it's still in good condition. It did shed a little bit. I'm going to try to link the original video down in the description box for you guys. But yeah, it's just a headband wig. I'm just leave like my edges out this is how i used to do it and i'm gonna slap this on these wigs definitely they a little snug but i'm gonna do my best <laughs> it's still wet so i'm about to just kind of fluff it and give it a little volume this was like one of my favorites this big curly hair it gets really big. I almost gave this one away, but something about it, I was like, mm, I feel like I still want this one just in case. Although it's like barely fitting on my head, it still feels pretty secure. If you wanna wear wigs over your locks, headband wigs are always going to be like the easiest and the safest in my opinion. I literally just slid it on and I can slide it right back off when I'm tired. I don't have to worry about doing a bunch of blending and melting of lace and none of that, so. This is the first one. This one is still really pretty. I feel like I might bust her back out in 2023 just for the heck of it. <laughs> the hair is still super soft. If you do want to wear wigs, I also recommend like more textured hair. So something curly, something that's big. I don't know if y'all could tell, but I can feel like my locks right here. <laughs> As it gets bigger, it'll hide it even more. Whereas if you were trying to do like a super sleek look, it'll probably look a little bulky in the back. If you want to do straight, I would recommend like a kinky straight or a yakky. This is the first one. This one is still really cute. It's, it's weird seeing me with hair though. I've gotten so used to my locks. It's a little weird seeing me with hair. <laughs> and that's what I love about headband wigs because I didn't use the combs or nothing. I just slapped that on my head. One thing that I do not miss about wearing weaves, y'all, is shedding hair. Like with locks, because all of your shedded hair is all compacted together, you don't realize how much like just shedded loose hair you don't see no more. And I do not miss that. So this next wig is a closure wig. So I'm gonna probably have to do a little bit of work with this one. Oh, I think it's like a five by five closure and it's just, straight hair i don't know the last time i wore this y'all but um like i said i mainly wore headband wigs because they were easier i don't think i wore this one a lot but this is the wig i want to say it's from wiggins hair i'm pretty sure i have a video on this one so i'm going to try to go back and find that one and link it down below as well but this wig is also over two years old and it's still in good condition it's still pretty soft it is shedding. I don't know all the details about the wig off the top of my head because it's been a while, but I will try to link it down below. Ooh, this one is all a little too small now because my hair is so thick. Oh, Jesus. It's a lot of hair. I feel like it's barely getting on there, but I feel like it's sliding though. So this one is looking a little bulky. I'm gonna do a little work. I'm not just gonna slap these on. I'm gonna actually try to make them look like something, y'all. <laughs> so this one is a little bulky. I feel like you can see my braids underneath right here. So for this type of style, you will probably have to do another like braiding pattern. But So I'm not gonna glue this down for real um, because even when I was wearing wigs as a loose natural, I didn't really mess with glue like that because I just hate the way it feels on the skin. But I'm gonna probably just use a little bit of spray and then I'm gonna just tie it down because it just keeps sliding. And although I don't wear wigs anymore, I still like do hair and stuff for other people. So I still got all the tools that I need y'all. <laughs> so I'm gonna just uh, take one of these bands and try to do a glueless melt so that it don't keep sliding. Okay, there we go. 
I think it's on. Oh, that was too much work already. <sighs> I'm hot. I feel like I'm getting to that age. You know, when I was young, back in my, I'm still in my prime. But when I was in my early prime, <laughs> And I used to wear like hair for real and I used to do hair and I feel like every older woman hair I used to do They were always wearing like short. They would always say like I don't want a bunch of hair on my head And at the time like I wanted all the bundles and now I'm slowly getting to the age where it's like I understand why y'all don't be wanting all them bundles on your head because I am hot right now um, I'm gonna go in with my edge booster um, hair pomade wax stick I'm gonna try to get this little part as flat as possible I don't like how humpy that look. That looks super humpy. This is one of the reasons I stopped wearing wigs so much because I feel like once you get to like a certain point in your life journey, it's really hard to like get it super flat. Like you can get it to look good, but I just like you will never get the base that you would get with like loose hair. I didn't even show y'all what the back look like. I'm gonna put some curls in it to add some body. Y'all, that looks so humpy. <laughs> I'm gonna add some curls to it um, to give it a little body to kind of camouflage like the base. I don't know how it look in the back though. This is what we working with so far though. I think this is a one and a half inch barrel. I'm gonna throw some loose curls in it because I'm not about to do too much. Not too much. I'm not doing a very good job. Okay, not too, sh not too shabby. I feel like the old snatch by Sherman. Bet you you'll see stars. All right, y'all, I'm gonna do the other half off camera real quick and come back. That literally took me seven minutes to curl this side. So I see y'all in seven minutes. All right, y'all, so I got all the curls in. If I miss something in the back, oh well, I'm not going nowhere. Now, last thing to do is just deal with this like lace in the front. Hopefully it didn't slide back to, oh no, we doing, doing all right. We are doing all right. I'm gonna take a little bit of this of this bowl hold lace jelly. It's basically like a gel. I've used this on a couple of my clients and I really like it. Oh, the wig is sliding, I can feel it. Oh well, y'all. <laughs> I'm just use a little bit of this to do like the baby hair on the wig. Oh, I can't see that good, I'm got my glasses on. Oh, this wig is just a sliding. That little spray did not do nothing. Mm, these little straight hairs stress me out. Ok, 
keep trying to fix it, but this is what it's gonna be. What y'all think? Do it look super humpy? It feels very humpy. If it wasn't sliding though, I think this would work. So this is the final look. This is gonna be it for this video, you guys. Let me know what you think. Again, this is just for fun for me. I don't really plan on like returning to wigs like that. I always say even if I got rid of my locks that I don't think I will wear wigs as much as I used to, especially not like lace wigs. Like this is fun, it looks cute, but it just reminded me how much work lace can be. It's nice to still have like the option to do certain styles if you want to and then just let me know that i still got it like i, I still be i could still do this if i wanted to i feel so weird looking at myself in this wig it's a little eerie and creepy because i like i'm just not used to seeing myself like this anymore <laughs> But that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, snatched by Charmel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.